Welcome back to another JMK Ride video. So this past week, someone by the name of Tavion Tan posted on USA Free Skaters, the Facebook group, asking about how to conserve energy while going on distance free skate rides. I actually used to do a 12 mile route when I used to live in San Francisco every week with a bunch of other rollerbladers and skateboarders, and I learned a lot. So what we're gonna be doing today is we're gonna be cruising all the way down this boardwalk. We're gonna finish at the JMK headquarters. On the way, I'll be giving you four tips for how to conserve energy and ride long distance on free skates. Let's go. The name of the game with endurance skating is gonna be comfortability and laziness. You wanna put the least amount of effort into your pump in order to get where you're going because you're gonna be going really far. The first step to do that is to optimize your body position. Your natural standing stance should be pretty much equivalent to your natural free skating stance. My legs are gonna be mostly shoulder width apart, so they're not gonna be like too far out. My arms are gonna be kinda of down by my sides. They're only gonna be used slightly for balance. And my knees are gonna be very slightly bent, just in case for the odd, you know, bump or, or divot or something like that. All right, let's keep rolling. All right, tip number two is arguably the most important tip. It's paying attention and mastering where you're getting the force of your pump from. And you wanna use the like sidewinder motion of free skating to your advantage. So how you do that is you kind of swing your upper body. A lot of the force is pushed through your front leg and you wanna swing your upper body in front of your front leg and then follow through and push through your hip down your leg like that. The force shouldn't come from your arms or any kind of twisting in your torso and it shouldn't come from your thighs. It should just come from your whole body swinging back and forth during the pumping motion. Really to learn it, you kind of just have to go out there and practice it. It's more muscle memory and less actual paying attention to the form. So actually we really dug into the in-depth step-by-step motion of this kind of exaggerated pump when we talked about how to free skate uphill. That's another video of ours. It's gonna be, it's gonna be over here. We like tabbed through the video and really demonstrated. So that might be very helpful for you if you're still struggling at the pumping motion. All right, let's keep moving. Tip number three is gonna be how to deal with arch pain. Arch pain is kind of an unfortunate reality that pretty much every free skater has to deal with at some point. It definitely depends on the size of your feet, but for the average foot, when you're riding the free skates, not your whole foot is gonna be contacting the plate, and therefore when you're gonna be pushing down on it, the pain is from like a soreness or an exhaustion of that arch muscle. So there's a couple ways to deal with this. The first and the best way to do it is just to take a quick break. Just pause for a little bit, you know, like you can step on a curb or something to just massage that arch muscle. And honestly, for me, I've noticed that if I'm starting like a huge distance ride, like when I was going on those 12 mile trips, it really was only an issue right at the beginning. And then I would stop, massage it out, and it would be fine for the rest of the night. Another way to avoid that is with how you're placing your foot on the skate. If you're having like a lot of arch pain and you're standing right here in the middle, you can actually just like stand where your heel is barely in the center or stand where your toe is barely in the center. And that's gonna help a little bit with relieving the pressure. Just like pretty much everything else with free skating, the more you do it, the less it's gonna be an issue for you. But it's still kind of a problem even at like more advanced levels. And you can just take a little break, relax, and then they're gonna be ready to skate in pretty much five minutes. All right, let's keep rolling. We got one more tip and then we're gonna be at the HQ. So tip number four is to always be aware of what path your skates are gonna take. I know I was talking about laziness when I was talking about your form, but just don't get lazy on where your skates are gonna be. It's really easy to get distracted and like look up, but if you're on unfamiliar territory like this, where there's, you know, random holes and random cracks and stuff that you need to be aware of, it can be pretty, catastrophic if you accidentally lose a skate, especially your front skate. 
So I think for me, the way that it works in my brain is I can kind of envision the path that my free skates are taking as I go over a surface. This comes with practice, but like I said, just pay attention to where your skate is gonna go because you don't wanna lose it unexpectedly. All right, so we found kind of an illustrative example here. If you look at this crack, there's a clear best path to take. So basically you wanna try and make sure that both your skates go right over that path. Bend your knees, lean back, because it's better to lose your back skate than it is to lose your front skate, and uh, bending your knees will help you absorb all that shock. We talk more about this in the video that we did about off-roading and also about transportation. Another thing is always be aware of people when you're riding distances, to like see where people are, make sure you know where people are, and be aware of your blind spot. Make an extra effort to check over your shoulder before you turn. For all you know, there could be like a biker trying to pass you or something like that and you're not aware of it. So now that I'm thinking about it, another thing that's actually helpful is to intentionally split an obstacle that you have coming up. Because if you're gonna split that obstacle, you're gonna be paying attention to exactly where it is versus <laughs> if you just tell yourself, oh, I'll go slightly right or I'll go slightly left of that obstacle, you could end up pumping into that obstacle as you do your pump. All right, final approach to JMK. Kind of a decent hill here, so you gotta really pump. I find it's actually helpful to be going like a base minimum speed. If you're going too slow, you're susceptible to hitting like little cracks that you didn't even know to pay attention to. As long as you're going a certain speed, you can kind of bump over any unknowns. So keep your speed at a little bit higher than minimum. Hey look, we're here. Hello. Hello. I would like to buy free skates. Black jokes are out. Darn. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you check out the video that we did on transportation. If you liked the video, make sure you leave a like and subscribe for more videos in the future. Roll with us.